Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I am at uh, the Aluna Beach in Panglao, the Philippines. Uh, today, I'm going to tell you a very important uh, story that my father told me long ago. This, uh, this story has a spiritual and moral meaning to it. But however, let me turn the camera around to tell you where I am. This is the Aluna Beach in Kwanga. Here yes, you can see the river or the sea or the ocean. Whatever name you want to call it. This is the mirror. This is how it looks like here. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna walk with you so you can also see how it looks like at the Alola Beach Resort. They have several hotels here, several rooms to stay in. And uh, along this uh, place, it has several uh, beach or resort uh, on the path that I am walking on. But as we walk, I'm going to show you several of these hotels at this uh, Luna Beach resort here. These are uh, This what is this? It's a food to eat? To drinks. Oh, to drink? Ah, yeah. okay. I think these are prices yeah. for drinks. So if you want to have some drink, come here. I will show you the prices. Very beautiful here. I think this is the last Arizona. A beach river. Most new. I think the room here, as you can see, the price per night is one thousand nine hundred and ninety-five pesos per night. Okay. However, back to the story that my father told me several years back when I was teenager, probably around sixteen or seventeen years old. He told me this story, and I still remember the story that he told me. Okay, this is another beach resort. This is the best Western Plus. I think uh, I was here before and I asked for the rate. Yeah, he probably rate can be somewhere around almost like $200 a night or maybe less than that. But I can't remember the exact amount. I came here probably like two weeks ago. Okay. Back to the story that my father told me before. He said there was a man. Uh, he has uh, four children. He and his wife, wife make it six. So there were about six in a family. But each day when he about to go to work, he will measure one cup of rice and give it to his wife to cook for us six of them to eat. And he have the, the rice pillar in the container and he locked it and he has the key with him. He will carry the key with him to work and leave one cup of rice for his wife to cook for the four children. He and his wife, six. So his wife will cook one cup of rice for six of them. And after she cooks, she will distribute it, give the children, give herself, and save his. 
So as time went by, he he was on his job for almost 15 years. But he couldn't get any promotion on his job. People that just came in that spent one, two or three years, they got promotion. Some of them became even his manager and supervisors. So as time went by, he decided to go to a fortune teller. So the fortune teller can tell him why he's not getting any promotion on his job. This is another fish resort called Boho Dives Club. Beautiful here. That's it's like a restaurant. This is beautiful out here. I like to come here and just keep you cool in this place. Okay, so back to the story. So when he went to the fortune teller, the fortune teller told him, he said, you are doing something to some group of people that maybe unconsciously you are hurting them but you don't know. So go and figure out after a one or two months then you come back to me. So he left the fortune teller and he went home. When he went home he think for almost a week or two. So wow, this is what the fortune teller told me that I'm hurting some people that I don't know. Well, what is that? He said to himself, I am good. I work, I treat my co-worker with respect. I treat my wife with respect. So what is that? So after almost like three weeks thinking, so uh, this day in the morning, when he was going to work, he decided to give the key to his wife so she can measure and cook any amount of, or any amount of rice, whether four or five cups of rice, you know, through the key at her. This is a day I saw that this was maybe like a resort or a room or a hotel to sleep in. I also assume that this might have been destroyed by Typhoon Odell. Because I passed here one time, so people here like maybe 2019. And look at it, it somehow. This door. You can see, you can see the, uh, it's a sign. So he gave the key to his wife. So his wife only measure one cup of rice as usual and cook. So when he came from work, he asked his wife. How many cups of rice did you cook? The wife to hello, hello, hello. Yeah, you going to be, you will be on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. From what country you are? From America. Yes. Where are you, Philippines? Yeah, I live from Penglao. Here. This guy is gonna go to America. This guy? When? You have in your yeah, video? Uh, it will be your, your video can go to America? Yeah, I will, it will, it will be on YouTube. You. Uh, YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. What channel? Eh? What channel? My channel is Liberian. Liberian. Liberian and? Liberian and? Filipino yeah, wife. Yeah, sir, Filipino sir, wife. Sir, sir, sir. In the Philippines. What is your name? What is the name of your channel? That is Liberian. 
Liberian and Liberian and Filipino Filipino wife channel Filipino wife in the Philippines my wife like a video video my wife is a Philippine Filipino she's over there okay you want to drink guys you too in front no I drank already okay you want more <laughs> no, no. You got YouTube? Insert, insert your YouTube. What's your YouTube? YouTube channel. Can I? That's, I mean, is that YouTube? No. Uh, mm. Search your YouTube channel. L L I B E R O R I A M and okay. hey, you can hold a type. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no no no, like this. This this hold right, this hold like this. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. We can, we can yeah, have your vlog. This is your vlog. Uh, That's your vlog. Hey, come on, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> My name is James. Look at that. Right. No, Hey, Joe. So you can't see Marlon. Marley. Marley, Bob Marley. <laughs> what's up, you? Hey, what is your name? <laughs> your name is Franco. Franco. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So, when you. So, if, if you wash tonight. You're going to be tonight, on tonight. YouTube. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. I, I will upload. Wait, wait. Wait, comment. I see my face. Tonight. Okay. I see my face. Tonight. Yeah, tonight, yeah. Tonight, You're tonight. going to see. Okay. Tonight. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the Filipinos people are very, very friendly. You can see they get engagement. And uh, they ask for my YouTube channel and I uh, give it to them. And they want to subscribe. So uh, back to the story. So the husband asked her, "How many cup of rice did you cook?" She said to the husband, "Just one cup." He said, "No, cook as many cups of rice you want." So the next day, he measured uh, four cup of rice four cups of rice and gave it to her plus he gave her the key then she cooked the next day again she in, he encouraged her to take as many as cups she wanted to so as time went by after like three to four months one day his boss or his manager called him and told him he said there's a new position that has been created and this position I thought of you so he was awarded a position he became the manager for that department. So he said, wow. So he took a trip back to the fortune teller and told the fortune teller what he did. Told his wife to cook as many cups as, as she wants, cup of rice. In fact, the first day, he gave her the key and she just cooked one cup of rice. So the second day he told her no, he measured the rice, four cups of rice and gave it to her and she cooked. So that became her routine Now every day she cooked like four or four and a half cups of rice. So he told the fortune teller. So the fortune teller said yes, you have all the years black or seal your own luck or your own blessing by starving your kids or your children by allowing your wife to cook in a one cup of rice for six people in the family so because you have decided to open up 
for your wife to cook as many cups as you want for the kids to eat so then they can be filled so now you open your lock that's why you are given the position because you open that so he said so he left the fortune teller he went so ladies and gentlemen sometime in life our luck or our blessing lies in our hand in our feet but because our behavior or because of uh, certain things that we are doing you are not aware that you are you are blocking or you are putting or hindering to your own blessing so because he decides to open up to feed his children to to take her obligation so his love became built to him and uh, he got that position so this story here i just told you it has so many meanings to it so many interpretation uh, you can interpret it the way you want to so as you listen to my story you can make a comment down what you think of this story what is your thought and what lesson did it bring to your mind so thank for listening and for watching and for all comments that will be made thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.